All right, guys, for our first myth, we're gonna talk about tourniquets being a last resort. There's a big myth out there that you have to be very, very careful with tourniquets because if you apply it, there's a good chance that that casualty is gonna lose their arm or their leg. So some people are very hesitant to apply a tourniquet because they think that if you do, that means that that person is gonna 100% lose their arm or leg, that you have no choice, you apply the tourniquet and they're just gonna be down one arm or leg for the rest of their life. And we're gonna discuss about whether or not that's actually true or not. So the other day I was trying to show one of my family members how to apply a tourniquet and I had her apply the tourniquet to my arm and I kept telling her, you need to crank down that tourniquet, keep going, keep going. And she put a little crank in it and then I say, keep cranking it and she a little bit more and I was like you gotta really put some effort into it and she was really reluctant to do that because she was worried that I was going to lose my arm if she kept cranking it she had it in her head that if she kept cranking it then I was going to need to get my arm amputated and this is something that I've seen around quite a bit um, people start talking about in some of the videos that I've seen I watch the comments down below and when the tourniquet gets applied those people say oh there goes the leg kiss that leg goodbye or something like that right so there's a big reluctance to use the tourniquet because the person that's applying the tourniquet is worried that if they apply that, then that casualty is immediately gonna lose their arm or their leg. And first off, I want to kind of dispel that a little bit because losing an arm and a leg is preferable to losing your life, right? Life over limb. So we save the limb if we can, but if we can't, then it's better to save that person's life. So it's better to just apply the tourniquet and risk losing that arm or leg than to have that casualty die. On the other side of that same coin though, uh, I've also seen people talking about that you can leave that tourniquet in place for a long period of time without any risk whatsoever. You know, 12 hours or more, the casualty is gonna be just fine. So just apply a tourniquet. If you see any bleeding, apply a tourniquet and let the doctors figure it out. And that is also wrong. So you don't wanna be leaving it on too long, but you also don't want to be reluctant to use it in the first place. You want to try to use direct pressure first if, if you can. You wanna just apply direct pressure and see if you can get the bleeding to stop that way. If the bleeding doesn't stop right away and it's continuing to pump through your hand and it's not stopping whatsoever, you need to immediately upgrade to a tourniquet, put that on the arm or leg and get that cranked down until you don't see any more blood pumping from the wound. So direct pressure is your first go-to. You put direct pressure on the wound and if you're unable to get it to stop with direct pressure, then you upgrade to the tourniquet. And tourniquets are not as scary as everybody thinks. You can leave them in place for a decent period of time before it starts to cause a lot of tissue damage. So what's going on when you apply a tourniquet? What is happening in the body when you apply a tourniquet? And when you apply a tourniquet to the arm or the leg, you're cutting off the blood supply to that arm or leg. And the blood carries oxygen to the tissues, which keeps those tissues alive. Without that oxygen, those tissues die, and then necrosis starts to set in, and basically your limb starts to rot. So that's one of the dangers of that. On the other hand, you also have the blood carries toxins away from the tissues and then deposits those toxins into your vital organs to be removed by the body. When you cut off the blood supply, you're stopping both of those things. And if those toxins build up, that can cause a lot of tissue damage and could be a cause of the limb ne needing to be amputated. So how long can you leave a tourniquet on before you start risking amputation? The general consensus is two hours. If you leave a tourniquet on for two hours, there is little to no risk that that arm or leg is going to be amputated. If you leave it on past two hours, then you start to get a gradual increase of the risk of needing to amputate that arm and leg because the tissues have died with a lack of oxygen and a buildup of toxins. So you can leave it on in place for two hours without taking it off and the patient will not have any problems. All right, so let's actually read what the study says about this particular problem, right? How long do you leave the tourniquet on? The study says, 
Muscle damage is nearly complete by six hours with likely required amputation. Numerous studies have been performed to determine the maximum duration of the tourniquet use before complications. The general conclusion is that a tourniquet can be left in place for two hours with little risk of permanent ischemic injury. So two hours, all the way up to two hours, you're fine. If you start getting up towards the six hour range, you're starting to get into some problems. So make sure that you get the casualty to the hospital so that they can see the surgeon. They can take off that tourniquet and start helping them out with life-saving surgery. So if you live in a city or in any area that has a decent EMS response time in under two hours, then there's very little risk that you are going to need to get a limb amputated because of a tourniquet. So most EMS is on scene very, very quickly. They might not be there quickly enough to actually save the casualty from bleeding to death, which is why you need a tourniquet, but they will almost definitely be there within enough time to get you to the hospital before that two hours has completely expired. If it's just pumping blood like crazy and I can't get it to stop with direct pressure, immediately put on that tourniquet. That should be either your first resort, but definitely not your last resort. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for hanging out and listening to the number one myth of tourniquets. How long do you leave them in place? And will you have to have a limb amputated if you use a tourniquet? If you need to get your own tourniquet, we sell cat tourniquets on our website at mountainmanmedical.com. Go pick you up one. And while you're there, take a look at our Yellowstone and Sweetwater trauma kits. They come fully stocked with everything that you need to manage that bleeding in an appropriate manner and take care of yourself or someone you love. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.